my name is this a whiteboard? Yeah. So this is a very typical first name. Yeah? So my name is Harcourt. <laughs> so what I'm doing here, uh, my personal background uh, is not fully based on an academic career. I studied economics many, many, many years ago, and after having uh, studied economics, I joined uh, one of the multinational foods and beverages uh, companies in Germany, and this was Unilever. I worked for Unilever as a central management trainee, uh, and you must know if you are joining one of these multinational companies, you will be relocated from one city to another, from one company to another, from one country to another, and so on. So, and after more than 25 years, I left uh, Unilever, to keep it now short, yeah, and joined uh, Nestle. Mm -hmm. And joined Nestle, uh, responsible as a managing director for, not for the retail business, because what you are studying here in marketing, this is retail marketing, this is end consumer marketing. Yeah, and there's a second uh, market, uh, let me call it segment. Uh, this is what we call out of home or food services or horeca or so on. Yeah, so the clients are not end consumers, but the, consu uh, the, the customers are hotels, restaurants, canteens, airline caterers, uh, fast food chains and all this, yeah, different type. So how did I come to teaching then or to the university, back to the university? I just uh, told the story. There was, maybe some 20 years ago, uh, there was uh, really unrest uh, uh, under the, the students and the students were not satisfied, uh, the students of management sciences yeah, or business administration. They were not satisfied with the very theoretically based education. So the students said, uh, all our professors, and at that time there was not a single exception, uh, all our professors are pure academics, yeah? so they studied and they graduated and they got a PhD yeah? and then they joined the university. And the student said, hey, these professors, they have never seen a, a company from inside. Yeah? So and then they are preaching and teaching about leadership skills and, and marketing techniques and all this. The student said, now we are living in the world wide web, we can read this uh, ourselves, we are much, much more interested what is real life uh, marketing, for example? So I have been asked uh, uh, if I would like to take over a professorship of uh, international marketing, international management, international business and all this. I said, okay, then we need people who have on one side the academic qualification, on the other side the professional experience, uh, and this is what I am doing. So I did this um, for many years at the German uh, University in, in, in Bremen. You must know we have two different types of universities in Germany. We have the, the, the traditional or the classical university, very much based on science and research. Uh, and we have, just because of what I was saying uh, just now, uh, we have University of Applied Sciences. Applied Sciences means there's much, much more practical input. Yeah, and we have these universities, not for medicine, or not for pharmacy, no, but for engineering disciplines and for, for managers or for business administration as well. Another question, how did I come to, to, to the Ukraine, for example? So I, there is an a, a institution in Germany uh, that is called SES, this stands for Senior Expert Services. Uh, and this is a, a cooperation between the government, the German government, uh, and the German industry on the other side. And both institutions, or this SES says, uh, we have so many former uh, managers, high-ranked uh, managers, yeah, who are being pre-pensioned, uh, and, and the expertise is there. Yeah? Why don't we make use of the expertise and the knowledge of these people and sending them, for example, to, to, to Zimbabwe or to, to China, or to Ukraine or to Pakistan, for example. This is what I have been done maybe 35 times or more. Yeah. So, and then just uh, just um, working together and visiting universities uh, over there 
or in Turkmenistan I've been to Kazakhstan I've been and to some other countries. So now I'm here, yeah, now I'm here and one of the first questions always is how do you like uh, Ukraine? Mm. And I, I must say, and, and this is, this is the, the, the whole truth, I must say I came to this country with no expectations. Uh, maybe my expectations were much more based on the former Soviet Union uh, tradition yeah? and said, okay, maybe Kiev is one of these uh, uh, former Soviet Union cities. So, uh, And Max and Svetlana, they, they picked me up from the airport and said, okay, then let's do a first sightseeing tour uh, through Kiev. So, and this was beautiful weather outside, and I said, my God, these beautiful churches and these, these uh, impressive boulevards yeah, and these cathedrals and what you have. I said, and I made photos and photos and photos. So, and I sent these photos home, and the question from home was, where are you? I said, this is Kiev. And they said, this is Kiev. Yet we had no idea yeah, what Kiev really is. So, and, and, and then I will close it. Yeah, just because of this, uh, this surprise, yeah, I really overwhelmed by what I have seen here in, in Kiev. So that is why somebody told me, if you are in the Ukraine, you must go to Lviv. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that is why I will take the opportunity from Saturday and Sunday and stay overnight uh, in Lviv yeah, and enjoy maybe a totally different culture yeah, than it is here uh, is on the other side. Okay, so what are we going to do? This uh, sounds very easy, yeah? Marketing, you can say, is very easy. Yeah? Maybe two or three classes, yeah? And we know what marketing is. Yeah, you know this guru, yeah? Mr. Mr. Kotta, uh, you once said, yeah, it is maybe easy to learn, but at the end, it takes a lifetime, really, to master. So that is why marketing is, I think, an inevitable <laughs> time uh, for, uh, for, uh, for each and every business. Just to embed marketing into the strategic framework, yeah, I think this is something you, you all know. You know. First of all, you have to start with, uh, with a longer term idea or with a longer term plan. This is what we call a vision. I give you examples. Uh, then you, you, you boil it down a little bit to a mission. A mission is uh, what are we doing right now? Then you have, and this applies for the international business as for local business as well. It makes no difference. So then you have a, a, a core strategy. So, and then you said, okay, what is my, my competitive situation or position in this market? Yeah, and what is uh, the strengths and the weaknesses of, the, of my own business? You are aware of a, of a SWOT analysis? Mm -hmm. You know it? Yes. Yeah. And you would be able to say what are the... No? What are the strengths of this university? Yeah, or the weaknesses? Give us five minutes. Huh? Give us five minutes. Five minutes for this? Yeah, it's yeah and you want to talk about the strengths of this university? Sure. Yeah, please. No, I think you... you okay, so for... For you. For me? Well, huh. uh, good location. Good location? Yes. Uh -huh. Good infrastructure? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. um, Somewhat of the material base of the university for the facilities and all of that. Uh, also, well, what about the, what good, about good the lecturers? Teachers. What about the, the teachers, the professors? Uh, Are there strengths or weaknesses? Uh, excellent theoretical knowledge, partially lacking practical ones, uh -huh. but it's okay for the Ukrainian <laughs> education. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it's uh, all for the basic ones. Yeah. What about, what about the, the opportunities or the threats? Because the strengths and weaknesses, you can influence yourself. Yeah? For example, for me, there are, there are several weaknesses. So when I take, for example, the, the technical or the information and uh, technical uh, infrastructure here. Oh, this is, uh, if you go to even to Pakistan, yeah? so Wi-Fi is available wherever you go. Yeah? This is, uh, even if you are in the desert, yeah, you have a Wi-Fi there. Uh, or multimedia, for example, the multimedia. Yeah, all rooms are equipped with multimedia and so on. By the way, do we have loudspeakers? Do we have a sound? Because I would like to show you later on some, some videos. Uh, but if we do not have a sound, then it doesn't make a sense. So then you go to, to the, to the, more to the strategy and to your, your, the, your the targets or goals. Again, in what segments are we doing our business and what is our competitive strategy? Who are our competitors? 
Yeah, if I'm coming now from, let me say, from, from, from Milka, uh, you know Milka chocolate? Yeah, so then I would have a very strong competitor here, this is Roshen. Yeah, so how to compete yeah, on, on this side. Yeah, then you develop your, your marketing programs yeah, and then you come to implementation. This is the theoretical background, but this is not theory as such. You have to go through this process uh, in, in, in all the activities in your business. See, first of all, and now it is uh, the strategic model, but it, it, uh, it plays the same role with marketing later on. So first of all is, what is my position? Where are we now? This is the situation analysis. What is my position in the market? The second question is, before you start to develop a strategy, uh, so where do we want to be in, in a five years time? For example, this is a very interesting uh, or very, very difficult topic for the German car producers, yeah, for BMW or for Mercedes or for Volkswagen, because there's a lot of technological development going on, yeah, away from the, from the fuel-dosed uh, engines yeah, going to electric uh, and I, I don't know what. Uh, so then the question is, uh, how do we get there? What is our way to do this? Yeah, and what do we have to do to get there? Yeah, just to symbolize it, exactly the same. Yeah, there are many directions. Yeah, the question is, where do we want to go? So don't be shy. Why don't you? Oh no, it's full. Mm. <laughs> so again, and you see the, the procedure or the methodology of all this is again, where do we want to be? Where where do we want to be in a five years or maybe ten years time? So, and again, then you start to develop a longer term plan and ambition and all this. For example, this is a, this is a vision statement yeah, of uh, one of the German uh, companies. So, so BMW or BMW wants uh, to, this is their longer term goal, to become the most successful premium car producer and uh, manufacturer in the car industry. You see, this is a very clear destination. The most successful, that means we need to make money and profits, yeah? in the premium car uh, industry. That means we are not competing with Volkswagen or with Fiat or with Renault. No, in the premium car segment. That means together with Lexus or Mercedes or Porsche or whatever. So this is a longer term plan of vision statements. By the way, when, I, when we did at Unilever or at Nestle the so-called annual planning, yeah? in the annual planning we always uh, Requestioned, uh, are we still on track? Is the, the same? Uh, is the vision still the same, or is the is the mission still the same? Or what about next year? Yesterday, I visited a small, a small, no, not so small, uh, a, a company here in in, in Kiev, um, a private company, a, a family business, really entrepreneurs, and they said this is very very difficult uh, to do here. Because, first of all, we have an inflation rate of double digit, yeah? maybe, maybe more than 10%. So then the question is how to plan. If you have such an inflation rate, yeah? what will be, for example, next year? Then the political, I wouldn't call it instability, but the political situation is maybe uh, not very easy to, to, to describe or to discover. And then they said uh, the, the, the date of, of, of payment, if we... If we deliver something to a customer. So the date of, of payment is 160 days. So, and if they have to, to pay you for what you deliver to them after 160 days, so in the meantime you have maybe an inflation that is very difficult to, to, uh, to, to prescribe. So then in a mission, this is, this is theory again, what is our purpose? Why are we here? What, is, why, what are we doing? Uh, the timeline is between three and five years. Again, Unilever and Nestle, they do it every year. They do it every year and then they, just, uh, they are just adjusting uh, the plan of last year uh, with this of this year. Maybe there are some changes. So, are the, our, our competencies, are the competencies still enough uh, and sufficient uh, for the student, uh, for, this, uh, for the future? Yeah, you see, especially in the car industry where a, a really a turnaround yeah, is going on, or Industry 4.0. Yeah, all these are technological or information technology uh, issues that you have to resolve. So what, uh, 
is the focus still the same? And, and that is what you have to describe in words. We did it every year. This is not theory. Yeah? We do it. Uh, we did it every year. So, and the mission examples. Uh, I made a question mark behind this. We help here tra <coughs> help people trade practically anything on earth. What company could this be? This is ambition. This is their. This is their purpose. Why are they there? We help people to trade practically anything on earth. Whenever I'm in, in Pakistan, they, are say, they say Alibaba. I said, no, we don't have Alibaba. What is the... Amazon. Exactly. So, to organize the world's information and make us universally accessible. Nah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this is Google. Yeah? So, I see, and I think this is a very good mission, yeah, to provide branded products. Yeah? They stress branded products, not just products. We provide branded products and services of superior quality. I think these are very important uh, adjectives. Yeah? So branded, superior, value, improve the life of the world's consumers today and for generations to come. These are, this is what companies are doing and they, 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 they have to, to communicate and to distribute this uh, uh, internally to their, to their employees as well. For example, Nestle, <coughs> You know, Nestle, good food, good life. Yeah, this was a very easy. No, no, no. Even in 2008, uh, Mr. Brauerick said, we are, we are not just an agro-food company. Yeah, and he said, we have to develop from an agro-food company uh, towards or into the direction of, of a company that cares about the wellness uh, of body, soul, mind of our consumers. This will be the future heartbeat of our business. That means there is a shift in the in the portfolio and the shift in the in the approach uh, and a shift in the in the targeted direction. Much much more than just good food, good life. Now this is a nice thing, uh, but for marketeers, I think this is one of the most basic uh, models or instruments. Yeah. First of all, you are embedded. Uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an environment. Yeah? These are your intermediaries, these are your competitors, uh, these are your, the, uh, the, public, uh, the public, and you have suppliers. And then you start to formulate or to generate a, 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 a marketing uh, strategy or a, a, a marketing plan or the marketing activities. Yeah? First of all, you start with your analysis. Yeah, this is again, this is the situation analysis, and this means uh, again, very often this is SWOT. What are, what are our strengths uh, and what are our opportunities and all this? Once you have done this, yeah, then you come to planning. After planning, very often, okay, then you have to implement it yeah, or to, to, to execute it, and then you have to control, and then this is a vicious circle and it starts again. This is the framework yeah, embedded into your strategic uh, planning or strategic model. And then you make use of your four P's. Yeah? This is the product price and you know all this. So what is the, in, in, in your opinion, what is the most uh, important uh, of the P's? Is it product, is it price, is it place or is it promotion? Or can you, can you not answer this? What is the most important? Huh? It depends on the situation. Huh? It depends on the situation. It <laughs> the answer, it depends, is always good. Yeah, this is true. Yeah? On the situation. On what situation? Does it depend on the situation or on your, or, or on your own strategy, on your own core strategy? Uh, Why? Maybe on uh, our strategy because... Uh, we concentrate on the most uh, important uh, P in uh, our strategy. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, yeah, okay. The, 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 the answer to the depends is, is always a good answer yeah, because you leave everything open there. But if we do not have the product, so what we should sell? Aha! Aha! Uh -huh, <laughs> what should we sell? Ah, Svetlana, this is very good. Yeah, what should we? And how should we do this? So, so in, in Germany. Maybe you do not know the, we have in the retail in the retail market we have so-called hard discounters. So Aldi, Lidl, yeah, they are from Walmart in, in the US. 
Yeah, they are they are advertising with E D L P everyday low price. So for them, the most important one is price. Mm -hmm. If you go to branded products, yeah, like uh, like Rochelle, yeah, or like uh, like uh, Mercedes, uh, or like uh, I don't know what uh, Nescafe or so on, uh, maybe yeah, the product as well. The product is more the product, yeah, the brand, not the not the price. This is the quality, yeah. All this makes is of no importance if you don't have uh, if you don't have uh, this one here, yeah. So you have to communicate it, and communication in a in a world or in a time where everything is available just by my mouse click, yeah. So promotion is very is very very important because it you have no advantage if your product is the best, but nobody knows it. So these are the four P's, and later on I will more focus, a little bit more focus, yeah, on uh, on uh, on promotion and on product. Yeah, product in the sense uh, of of branding and promotion. This is the whole promotion mix. By the way, what is the difference between the product and the brand? Um, there must be a difference, yeah. It's something that you. Uh, very many, uh, many times. For example, yeah. Oh. So, what is the advantage of a brand uh, for a, for a manufacturer uh, or for a consumer? Because everybody or majority of people know about uh, yeah. No, known about it yes. already. Yeah. About it. So this is this is a big advantage, yeah. If there is awareness, yeah, or this is knowledge about what you are selling. Mm -hmm. We'll come to that in a minute. And then, and these are marketing basics. These are basics and the most important basics. Yeah, then you have to segment the market. Then you have to target your consumers. Yeah, and at the end you have to position your product in the segment uh, according to the targeted uh, consumers. And at the end it's all about customer value and relationship. You see, once again, very shortly, you have the marketing environment, yeah, and again, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the economic situation. Yeah? If you have a situation of 20% or maybe 15% of inflation rate, yeah, it is difficult from, from, for example, from Germany, where we have no inflation at all. Yeah? This is just less than 2%. Uh, so the technological environment, my God, there's such a lot of technical, especially with the information technology, uh, 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 advan uh, advancements and all this are going on every day. Politically, again, hopefully in, 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 in politically stable countries this is very easy. If I go to Pakistan, for example, yeah, it is totally different. Nobody knows what will be tomorrow. Uh, and culturally, again, maybe more in, the, in big countries, uh, I think here more than in, in Germany, yeah, because in Germany we have, yeah, in principle there's one culture, yeah, so maybe the Bavarians, yeah, they, 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 they behave maybe a little bit different from the northern Germans, yeah, but if you go to, again, to a big, big uh, country like, like, like Pakistan with more than 200 million uh, of people living there, so the people who are in, in Baluchistan, yeah, or those in, in, uh, in, 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 in the Punjab, they are totally different. Totally different, and that has an effect on what comes now. <clears throat> has an effect on the consumer, yeah, because the the, 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 the consumer behavior, yeah, or the buyer behavior is not the same. But what is stable and what is constant, this are your four P's. Yeah. So this is the marketing environment, as I tell again. So and what about the buyer uh, characteristics? For us in, in Germany now, buyer characteristics and the decision process and so on uh, has, has not, not dramatically, yeah, but has changed over the last years. The more behaving and their buyer behavior is totally different. In Germany we have in the meantime I think 3.5 million Turks, Turkish people living in Germany. So the buyer behavior of the Turkish people is totally different from the traditional buyer behavior of, uh, of a German family. Totally different. So all these, uh, the consumer is, there's not one and the same consumer. Not for fast-moving consumer goods. 
yeah, like foods and beverages. Maybe for consumers in the uh, in the aircraft industry, yeah? so an Antonov yeah, or an, uh, or, a, uh, or a, an Airbus, this is maybe more or less the same. So uh, again, knowing all this, and this is just a let me say a summary of embedding, yeah, your marketing uh, strategy or your marketing policy, yeah, into the into the business strategy or the business policy. Yeah, so that means uh, you have not only uh, to look into the the future and the external environment, no, even internally. What about our our employees? Yeah, and how keep uh, how do we keep them? motivated and qualified uh, and all this. I think this is going on here uh, right now. Uh, again, and you have to make use of multiple communication uh, channels. If you take, for example, Mr. 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 Trump in the US, also he is very fond of one of these communication channels. Yeah? This is just Twitter. He is Twitter, Twittering, Twittering. What is the verb of Twitter? Twittering. Uh, every day. Yeah? So, and again, you must know, and not only the management has to know this, yeah? the employees must know it. Again, this is very much about uh, managing, managing people and your human resource policy, uh, again, embedded in a, in a SWOT analysis. So, what are our opportunities? Where are the niches? Uh, opportunities, I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, the car maker Porsche, yeah, you know, okay. Uh, Porsche used to be a, a, a car maker just for sports cars. And not only sports cars, high-priced sports cars. So at one time, Porsche said, okay, we have to expand our portfolio. And they expanded and they enlarged it. Uh, and they, they, uh, they, they developed yeah, and they launched uh, cars like the Cayenne or the Macan. Yeah? That means uh, SUVs. Yeah, so this is a new dimension of your marketing activities. At that time it was a niche. Yeah, today it's not a niche any longer. So again, what about the relevant target groups? <coughs> Porsche, again, they, have, uh, they had a very difficult uh, subject to, 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 to resolve because they said more than 90% of our buyers, first of all, they have money, clear, and they are male. How to make a Porsche attractive to females. There are very much, very many females uh, on top, of, uh, on top of, uh, of big institutions or big companies. They have the money, uh, but maybe they, they, drive, they drive BMW or Mercedes, but no, how can we make Porsche uh, attractive to, to, to females, females, for example? So, and then you go to different sales, sales uh, channels, for example. So, as I said, I would like to concentrate more on the, on the communication side and on the branded side. Yeah? So, first of all, yeah, and this is very important for maybe when I was a marketing director uh, oh, many years ago, uh, we had in principle only three channels. This was print and this was radio and this was television. That was it. Yeah? Nothing else. So, very easy. Now you have all the electronic uh, media. This is much, much, much more uh, than we have some 20 years ago. And for all this, you need an integrated, an integrated approach, yeah? an integrated communication system. That means if you are, if you are, uh, if you are selling or, or advertising, yeah, in, in on, on television, and in the same time, in the same time on the. Uh, on, on all the e-marketing uh, channels, yeah, this must be this must be adjusted, and that must be in line. This must be harmonized. Uh, yeah, m must be harmonized. Uh, for example, many years ago, you know, mass. This was just mass marketing. Yeah, you had a you had a uh, a, a commercial. Yeah, and a TV spot, yeah, and this was sent out uh, to, to everybody. You did not know, so did I really get my, my targeted uh, consumers, or was there a, 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 the coverage maybe for, for many other segments who are not relevant for us? So, but that means you started to go from this more mass media 
uh, approach to marketing approach on the social media side, for example. And social media side is maybe not that much interesting for me, but, but for you. Yeah? So if you go and if you ask the, the, the younger people and the students, uh, do you look the, the, the news uh, on, the, on the traditional uh, television channels? They would say, no, no, I take my information from Facebook and, and I don't know from where. You see, this is a, this is a dramatic shift. Yeah? And on the other <coughs> side, you have this from, from a one way. Yeah? Communication was one way. I am a sender and there is a, there is a, a receiver. Yeah? So, and now it is going to be involving. Yeah? <coughs> involving the two-way companies. That means you are in a communication process yeah? with, your, uh, with, your, uh, uh, with the company or with the product you are buying. This is a totally different communication now. Yeah, this is a communication. This is not uh, not uh, one-sided. Or this is not in a, in a one-way uh, road. No, no. You get a response, or they want to have response. Uh, yesterday, I used examples. If you go, uh, especially in the United States, yeah, if you go to a restaurant, yeah, and together with the bill, yeah, there comes a questionnaire. How satisfied was you? And how did you evaluate our service and our price and the quality? Yeah, and please give us our email address and so on. Yeah, so, and all of a sudden, yeah, you are in contact with, uh, via Facebook yeah, or via this email site of this company uh, in a contact. So once you have, again, segmented, yeah, everything starts with segmentation. Uh, segmented uh, your market, uh, then you need to know who are our target consumers. This is very difficult. This is really very difficult because very often there is a, uh, there is a, there is a not only strong competition, but it's uh, difficult to, 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 to limit or to, to, to find the boundaries uh, between you and your competitor. Adidas, Nike. Puma, uh, Reebok. What is the difference between them? Are the consumers, are the targeted consumers the same? Are they different? Who goes for Adidas and who goes for Nike? Is it just based on the, on the brand name? Or is the, the targeted position and the segmentation of the market uh, maybe different uh, between these uh, just four companies? Yeah. <clears throat> so then you must know for example, what do I want to say in my, in my message or in my advertising, in my communication? What do I want to say? Very often the question is, is it a, uh, is it a, uh, is a, is a product related or brand related or is it more a general, more on the emotional side, uh, on, the, on the emotional side of the message? You have to define this the question, how to say, how, not what, but how. So when to say, this depends, maybe for Roshen, uh, uh, they have maybe peaks in the season. Yeah? Maybe before, before Christmas and before Easter, maybe there's much, much more sales than in July and in August, maybe. Yeah? So these are, again, when to say. Where and to whom, again, to whom means, again, uh, Adidas or Nike, so, or, or, or Apple and Samsung. Yeah? And do not forget, this uh, year. So are you more addressing your message to the just to the current users or do we want to or do you want to attract uh, consumers who are just potential buyers but maybe they don't uh, buy or do you really have uh, loyal uh, consumers who are loyal to a uh, to a uh, uh, to the competitors there was a, I don't know if you, are, if you know this, uh, because Nestle and Unilever, they are competing very closely uh, on, 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 on the culinary products like Knorr and Maggi. They are very close. So, and uh, when I was, uh, when I worked for, for, for Nestle uh, in Germany, close to, to, to the Frankfurt Airp uh, Airport, there is uh, LSG, Lufthansa, service, uh, Lufthansa Services uh, Company. So they are producing meals, meals for the, for the airlines. I think they are producing close maybe 100,000 per day yeah, for, for, for Aeroflot and for Air India and for Air China and for Lufthansa and for the Ukraine. They are producing this. So, and they were using a product for the sources. This comes from, from Unilever. 
So, and my target and my, my objective aim, okay, I want to, to, to convince them, why don't you take a product from Nestle? So, and they said to me, Ahmut, you are very nice and I like you very much, uh, and you, we know that your product is, uh, is, is really good, but all our processes, processes in the kitchen to make the sauces, they are since 10 years, we are based on this very a typical or very specific uh, specification, no, we don't change this. Yeah? No, we don't change this. Yeah? So if, if you give us a an, 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 an discount of maybe of 10%, no, because this is always a risk. Yeah? No, we don't do this. I think this is, uh, for example, what we did yesterday. Uh, how do you... How do you... Uh, approach your... You know, this is a this is time, and this is uh, sales, yeah. And then you have this uh, typical uh, life cycle, this life cycle of a of a product, yeah. So that means in such a life cycle, uh, it 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 plays a role. If you are, for example, in in this stage here. Or if you are in this stage here, or are you in the, the in the stage where, for example, the the uh, the sales or the turnover is, is going down? Yeah. So, for example, here in this first phase of the life cycle, what is important in your advertising? Information. Information. Absolutely, hundred percent. This is information. Here, when you, once you are here, then it's much, much more, because then you are embedded into a in a in competitive environment. Yeah, then you must convince, yeah, or, or persuade uh, the consumers to buy your product and not the competitor's product. Yeah, and if you are here in the in the latest fast, okay, then please remind uh, the 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 consumers or the potential consumers that they should go for your product and not for another one. Yeah. <clears throat> Then you are designing the message. Yeah? First of all, what to say, to whom to say, yeah? and now the communication message. Uh, one of the items is product related. Yeah? Is, it, is it strongly based on what you are selling? That means if you have a product with a clear you know, USP, unique selling proposition, clear for, yeah? very often you do not have this. You do not have this because uh, uh, because the, the 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 products and the brands are more uh, exchangeable, interchangeable. Yeah. So this there is not much uh, difference between again between a, a Mercedes and a Lexus, uh, for example. Yeah. Or between a, a Nike and a, and an Adidas. Yeah. Or uh, maybe Apple and, and Samsung again. Then the question is, if you do not have a USP. Then please uh, try to formulate, yeah, or try to uh, to come up uh, with a so-called unique advertising. Then make your advertising uh, unique. That means you 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 need to have a distinct uh, line between again, for example, for, for between Mercedes and and, 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 and BMW and, and BMW. Technically, the cars are all the same. Yeah, but uh, the, the perception yeah, and the image and the imagery behind these two car companies, for example, might be different. Yeah? And if it is different, then you need to have this unique advertising uh, situation. Yeah? And there are some other elements in this. Uh, what about the user imagery? Uh, is it better with, with Maggi or with Knorr? Uh, or the user, is it better with Volvo and Mercedes? You don't know. Uh, what about my personal experiences? Yeah. If I have I made good experience uh, with the company I'm I'm working for, yeah. So then you 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 can build uh, on this. What about the brand personality? Very often you identify yourself uh, uh, with a with a specific brand because the brand says something else to to you and to me. Yeah. Your 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 image, your reputation or the perception is different. 
And this is very important. The rational versus the emotional uh, elements of a of a message. Very often they are they are interlinked. And it is not only a rational uh, purchasing decision. If you go for a for a for a uh, for a notebook, for example, like uh, like this one. This is Asus. So I have a Dell. Yeah, so again, what is the what is the difference? Yeah? Technically, more to say. Apple maybe plays a different role because Apple, from the from the uh, operating system, all this might be might different. So, and the second question is, if you are going global, yeah, we talked about Russian uh, this morning, and I have learned heard that Russian is available in, in in Budapest and in Hungary as well. So, do you do you sell between Hungary and and the Ukraine? A standardized product, or do you have to adapt some elements? Maybe the language. Yeah, this is uh, something else. Or do you have to adapt uh, some some elements of your specification? Maybe the Hungarians they, they, they love it more sweet, yeah, and the Ukrainians they are loving it maybe in a, in a different time. So then they then they would have to to distinguish uh, between both. Coca Cola does this, by the way. Coca-Cola in China is not the same as Coca-Cola here in the Ukraine or in Germany. Yeah? It's in the same bottle and this, the, 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 the color is the same and the, the advertising is the same. Everything is the same. Yeah? But there are some, some, uh, some uh, not significant, uh, but uh, some, some slight differences in, in the taste of a Coca-Cola. So that means this is not standardized. And then you select the channels. Once you have done all this and said, okay, this is our message, this is what we want to communicate uh, to, to our consumers or potential consumers. This is uh, the message uh, we are using. Yeah? And then you go to the communication channels. Again, this depends very much on your target groups. Yeah? First of all, you can do it with personal communications. If you have a company where you have salespeople and a sales organization, they, they do it to some extent. Yeah, or representatives, they will do it. Yeah, but on the other side, you have all these media uh, um, uh, selections. So between print and radio and television, again, depending what is the most useful, what is the most efficient one. Yeah, but at the end, it's all the, especially for the younger generation. Yeah, it is on social media, this is on Twitter, this is on Facebook, and on Instagram, and I don't know what it is. So all these is integrated communication, by the way. This is integrated. All this has to be integrated. I think Mr. Trump is just using, uh, just using this one here. Yeah. So he goes for Twitter every night, maybe with some stupid uh, messages, or so. with some messages. You see, for example, Marlboro. Nobody knows if you look at this and uh, you had, if you had not a single idea yeah, uh, what Marlboro is, then you would say, what is it? Yeah? But what does Marlboro assume when they, when they develop or when they launch just such an ad? They assume everybody knows what Marlboro is. So and that is why we can, we can focus, yeah, we can concentrate just on this scenery, there is no cigarette, yeah, and there is no 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 sign of a cigarette and nothing. Yeah, just Marlboro Country, nothing else. And they advertised uh, on kinds like this for maybe for 20 years, exactly in the same way. Everybody knows if you are a smoker or non-smoker. If if I see something like this, it must be Marlboro. Here again, you see the the. The, the, the scenery, yeah, or the atmosphere is again the same. Yeah, these cowboys, yeah, and where are the horses? Okay, no horses. Uh, yeah, and here you have come to where the flavor is. Yeah, and then you have a small picture uh, of Marlboro. Yeah, a very typical and very consistent uh, and enduring uh, communication uh, policy for I don't know for how many decades. Yeah, uh, there were ads like this again, Marlboro Weekend. Again, the, the the cowboy or exactly the same. Yeah, I remember there were ads just showing this one here. Nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah, and everybody knew it must be Marlboro, yeah, because this this uh, 
uh, nice looking gentleman yeah, with a cigarette and you just see B-O-R, yeah, wow, wow. This is, uh, I would say, this is really consistent and very consequent, yeah, built on the, on the knowledge, yeah, and built on the, on the perception uh, and on the awareness, yeah, what Marlboro is. Uh, you know this brand Nivea, yeah? and Nivea is uh, very much competing together with uh, uh, L'Oreal or with, uh, with Dove uh, and some other maybe local companies here as well. So a global company, yeah, and they are just saying this is an ad, uh, 100 years of, of skin care, skin care for life. Oops. New from Nivea. Express Hydration, the fast absorbing body lotion for moisture that lasts all day with breakthrough 24 hour Hydra IQ technology. Absorbs in seconds, lasts for hours. New Express Hydration with Hydra IQ, part of the essentials range. Nivea, a hundred years of skincare for life. You see, this is an ad. This can be shown in, in Australia or in Canada or in... Men's face care. It's not the same as women's face care. Forget complicated, time-consuming and potentially painful. Moisturising can be simple, fast and feel good. Nivea Men Originals Moisturising Cream. A classic from a pioneer of male skincare. Simple, effective grooming that gets noticed. From the world's number one men's skincare brand, Nivea Men. It starts with you. Again, this one here, yeah? global brand. Everybody knows this, just the shape of the bottle. Yeah? And knows Coca-Cola is, uh, is just enjoying life. Yeah? For example, in a situation when uh, Germany, I don't know what, uh, maybe they won some, 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 some tournament or so. Yeah? So nothing, there are no words needed, nothing. Yeah? This, is, this is communication without any words like Marlboro, just Marlboro country or come to where the flavor is. Here, nothing, just Coca-Cola. So these are the, the, the communication principles, yeah? And the communication instruments uh, you have to, to advertise or to communicate your branded products. Do you remember one of the first uh, charts was uh, the mission of Procter & Gamble? Yeah, Procter & Gamble said, we are not just uh, selling um, products, we are selling quality brands. So here, why, uh, why branding? Again, what is the difference again between a brand? What makes the difference between a brand and a, and a product? Now maybe I'll give you an example, and uh, the, the answer as well. <clears throat> so first of all, strategic brand management, the question, can everything be branded? The question is, why should we brand it? Yeah? Or why don't we just go for, for commodities? So, for example, normally physical goods, yeah? like, uh, like Mercedes or Chanel yeah? or Nescafe. Yeah? These are, these are, this is not, Nescafe is not just coffee. Yeah? Because if you take the ingredients of coffee, maybe you end up with, uh, uh, let me say, with a, with, a, with, a, with a factory price of maybe less than one euro. But we are, we are 
selling it for 250. So, what is the premium? Yeah, this is again, this is the branding. Yeah, with Mercedes or with Chanel, exactly the same. You can have commodities. Uh, this was a very good example in Germany when, when the first Kiwis, Kiwis are available here. Yeah, but Kiwis are standing, they are more or less uh, synonymous uh, with, uh, with New Zealand. Uh, so, and in the meantime, all the Kiwis are coming from, from, from Tunisia or from Spain or from Italy. No, the Kiwis from New Zealand, they are something special. Yeah, with bananas, as exactly. Do you have Chiquita here? Yeah, this, is, this, is a, this is a brand for, just for bananas. Mm. Yeah, or if you take water, yeah, so Perrier or, or, or some other waters. Again, this is not just water. Yeah, this is a brand uh, upon it. Yeah, or if you take Intel. So I would say every, 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 on every computer there is Intel, yeah, but Intel inside. But what is Intel? Nobody has seen Intel. Yeah. Intel. So that means it is a commodity. This is not a brand, but it has become a brand, by the way, because if Intel and the, the newest number of uh, the newest development of Intel, it would not be, yeah, this means this is branding. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have these high-tech uh, brands or products, Microsoft, Apple, yeah, I think there is no discussion about this. Uh, you can brand services, is uh, DHL, is DHL uh, here in, in the Ukraine? I, I think yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this is, the, I think, the world's, uh, the world's uh, largest uh, uh, supply chain uh, company or logistic company. Wherever you go, for example, in, in Karachi, just opposite to the, to the uh, to the airport, yeah, there is a, there's a big, big, big premises of, of DHL. Yeah? Or if the hotel business, yeah? Sheraton or Hyatt yeah? or, or Marriott or all this, I would say, yeah, they are not just, just selling the accommodation, they are selling a brand and the imagery of this one. For example, you have here in Kiev, uh, you have a, a Hyatt hotel. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think you know this. For me, this is, a, this is a, an ugly building. Yeah? I, I, I don't like this bit, but this is typically Hyatt, yeah? And so even in a very historical environment, this, this block of a... No, yeah, that depends. Again, that depends. Yeah, or if you are flying, yeah? You can fly Ukraine Airlines, uh, Airbus, and you can fly Lufthansa or Emirates Airline and also. These are brands. These are brands. So I'm flying whenever I go east, yeah, with, with Emirates Airline, because I know uh, the... Uh, the food is best, uh, the service is excellent, you have, uh, you have video channels, I think they have 150 yeah, in, uh, in, in a box uh, in, in front of your, your seat. Uh, so the, the, the flight attendants are very beautiful and coming from very often from, from 10, that depends how many they are on board, yeah, from 10 uh, different uh, countries. Yeah? There's a Russian speaking, there's a German speaking, there's a Hindi speaking, there's an English speaking. Yeah? There are 10 flight attendants from 10 different countries. Uh, so a retailer or a distributor can be, can be of a, uh, in, in a status where they say, ah, this is, I have, I have made, for example, good experience with Metro yeah, or with Carrefour. Uh, with Metro, that is why I prefer Metro in, in, in contrast or an exception to, to some others. You can even brand people. Yeah? Uh, for me, for example, Nelson Mandela, he was a, he was a, a, a personality of his own. Yeah? Or UNICEF, yeah? this is, these, are, these are branded institutions. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if Mr. Poroshenko is a, is a, is a brand uh, in, in Europe. I don't know. Yeah, for, me, for me, a tennis player, uh, Roger Federer, I would say, he is much, much more than just a tennis player. He is, for me, a brand. Yeah, again, uh, this is with geographical uh, location. So the Eiffel Tower in Paris, this is a, this is a brand. This is a symbol of, uh, of the whole city. Yeah, the Taj Mahal in, in Agra, uh, in, in India. Yeah, Wimbledon is not just a tennis uh, tournament. Yeah, this, Wimbledon is, is, is something special. So this is the question, what to brand uh, and, 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 and how to do this uh, and in what way are you, are you branding your portfolio or the assortment of your thing. First of all, you can have like Volkswagen. Yeah? This is the company introduces uh, in, in, in one category, uh, not only Volkswagen, but uh, at least two different brands. Yeah? So Volkswagen, this means Porsche and means Audi. 
yeah, and Lamborghini and, 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 and Bentley. So all this is Volkswagen. Then you can use a, a different strategy, uh, for example, the, the single brand. Yeah, so each product uh, of a each product of a, of a of a of a firm of a company is sold under different brand names. Unilever does this. Then you can have this brand family, yeah, like for example Procter and Gamble. So Procter and Gamble has has personal products, uh, has detergents, has chips, uh, and I don't know what they have. And confectionery products, totally different products, yeah. And the the name of uh, of Procter and Gamble is just on the backside. Yeah, in contrast to Nestle, for example, Nestle is always on the on the front page, uh, on the front side uh, of the of the package. Mm. So, and you can have, for example, a roof brand. Let me take Siemens. Yeah, whatever they are producing is just Siemens and nothing else, or General Electric. Also. So this is. Um, this is, you see, this is the portfolio uh, of, uh, of Nestle. And you see, this is Nestle Germany. Uh, and this looks uh, good food, good life. This is some years back. Uh, and you see there are some, some confectionery products like Kit Kat yeah, or Lion. Uh, there are culinary products like, like Maggi or Tommy. Uh, there are some, some Motta like ice cream products. Uh, there are uh, the, the Nestle Food Services, it was uh, me. Uh, then you have dairy products like uh, LC1 and, 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 and doing the best. Then you have coffee uh, like, like Nescafe. Then you have, uh, nah. uh, then you have uh, coffee, cocoa, drinks like Caro and Nesquik. Yeah, then you have water and, and, and later this is uh, uh, in food, uh, infant food for, for babies. and all. <coughs> yeah, Totally different, but they are all under the name of Nestle. So how is it the way how Nestle is doing this? And again, if you are working in a in a in a in a multinational or in a globally uh, oriented uh, company, then you have a worldwide approach. You have a regional uh, a regional aspect, and you have some local activities. Yeah, and you have overall for the whole portfolio, you have some some so-called corporate brands. Yeah, for example, whenever I go uh, to uh, Kreshatik, for example, and if I go up the 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 the, the elevator, no, not the elevator, the Rolltreppe, what is Rolltreppe? Uh, the, the long, long way. So there are there are there are advertisements for 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 uh, for, for pet food, yeah, for cats, yeah, or for dogs or something. Yeah, so then you have this professional Nestle, this was Nestle Food Services. Yeah, or you have just this Nestle uh, and, the, and the net uh, with these with birds in it. Yeah, and after 2008, I have shown you the, the, uh, the, the philosophy, yeah, or the strategy of Mr. Brabeck, the CEO, 10 years back, when he said we are much, much more in the, in the health sciences, not just a food transformation, no, we go much, much more for health. And then you have these master brands, and that means they are, they are available local, local and worldwide. Then you have these master brands, yeah? for example, uh, this, uh, this uh, Purina, this pet food. Yeah? This is a master brand yeah, in, a, in a worldwide uh, uh, distribution. Yeah? Then you have, for example, Hertha. This was uh, only in the Western European countries. This was not a global brand. This was more than a local brand, so this was a, a local one. Yeah, then you have product uh, brands like, like KitKat. Yeah? KitKat, again, is available in exactly the same uh, design, exactly the same outfit uh, all, over the, all over the globe, yeah? or Power Bar, all over the globe. Perrier, again, if you go to Canada or China, Perrier. Yeah? So again, these are products uh, with a worldwide, uh, with a worldwide uh, extension. Mm. Vitel, is, is Vitel available here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Vitel. Okay, Vitel, there are some countries uh, where Vitel is not, because maybe of the competition. This is not a global one, yeah, but this is very, very regional. I think in all the European countries there is uh, Vitel. Pakistan, for example, you will find uh, this Nestle Pure Life, yeah, but you will not find uh, Vitel, for example. Smarties, again, that depends very much on the, on the, on the, on the climate uh, environment. Yeah? If you are in a country where the temperatures in, in, in Dubai or in Abu Dhabi are more or less uh, above 40, 40, 
uh, degrees, uh, you can't say it's Martyrs there. This is impossible. You see, this you must cluster, you must uh, design uh, your portfolio to worldwide available yeah, and to worldwide, regional or local, uh, depending on the product what you are selling. This is, this is marketing in a multinational company. Yeah, and you see, this one looks exactly the same yeah, wherever you go. If you go, uh, if you go to the airport of uh, of Kiev, you will find it in the shop. Yeah? If you go to the airport Sheremetyevo uh, in, in Moscow or, uh, or in, 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 in Karachi or in Berlin. Come on, Spike. Brand. It says this was many, maybe 15 years ago. Yeah, when <coughs> this was a, a, a British uh, British uh, uh, auto automobile manufacturer. Now Mini is, is, is BMW, is BMW. Yeah, but it's exactly the same car. Yeah, an expensive car by the way. Yeah, the small it is. Yeah, but a very expensive, not, not very, but a relatively relatively uh, expensive car. Yeah, very well. Uh, designed very well, equipped, everything is available. Yeah, so that means you do not have to show the the the, the, the items yeah, or the technical uh, details uh, of a uh, of this car. This is just the, the ambience and uh, and how to. In Germany, by the way, the Mini is much much more a car for females and not for males. Yeah? Maybe because it's 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 small and it's uh, and it's 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 very uh, very easy to to. Uh, for the mobility. The new Cayenne GTS, Porsche, there is no substitute. I think this is brilliant advertising. Porsche, there is no substitute. Yeah? Not a single word is spoken, just at the end. Wow. Thanks for the lift. So what do you do then? I'm taking a year off. And then we'll see. Interesting. Dad, I'll take the job. Interesting. But only if I get a company car. The best or nothing. Mm -hmm. Again, this uh, young man he just wants to have a lift because his motorcycle was, was broken down. Yeah? And uh, the driver asked him, so what are you going next? He said, I'm, I'm taking a year off. And that means doing nothing. 
You understand? He met the experience and this Mercedes, yeah, and then he comes back to his father, yeah, and goes to his father and says, Okay, I, I will take the job. Yeah, and the father again, oh interesting. Yeah, because after some time maybe he wants to have a Mercedes Benz as a company car. So, last one. I think this is very good advertising. <coughs> it looks like <laughs> very good advertising. This is the chupa chups. Huh? <laughs> you see, the exactly this is a hundred percent copy. Yeah, if you hundred percent copy. So because you just see see this gentleman here. Yeah, and you say, and oh, this must be a Marlboro, because you know this from Marlboro advertising. Yeah, in the meantime, Marlboro do, is doing a, a different advertising, by the way, a bad, yeah, a, a, a very negative one. Yeah, this was brilliant advertising. So everybody knows that, for example, this company, Chupa Chups, they know it, and that is why, my God, the attention, yeah, for this ad, yeah, with this here, but no, 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 quit smoking and go for a Chupa Chups. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is the way you can advertise. And that is why, at the end, all your marketing activities have just one, one focal point. Yeah? And this is creating uh, customer value yeah? and profitable uh, customer uh, relationship. That was it? Yeah. Satisfied? OK, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Maybe anybody has questions? talking about the marketing strategy, about the positioning, about the vision, about the mission. Uh, if we're talking about the company as, for example, Nestlé, that produces just food for different animals, for people, like it is uh, for me clear how to make a vision. But if we're talking about a company that produces very differenti differentiated products, for example, clothes, for example, um, plus perfumes, Plus, they do some, some maybe with food. How do they do this? How do they build that uh, mission and vision? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, let's take Nestle or companies with a broad, yeah, very differentiated portfolio. They need to have a so-called corporate strategy. A corporate strategy that means for the whole company worldwide, no matter if they are producing pet food, yeah, or, or infant food, or water, or, or Kit Kat. <coughs> a corporate strategy, for example, uh, would include uh, whatever we do, what we would never, for example, uh, introduce some alcoholic drinks. Yeah, we, have, we have milk, and we have water, and we have uh, coffee, and all these uh, beverages, but we never, this would be a corporate for all companies. Uh, then it's about child labor, yeah, because in the Western countries, child labor, if you go to Again, to India or Pakistan, yeah, where, where six years old, old boys or girls are, are really working very hard yeah, and making these carpets and, and all this. They would say, okay, we, are not, uh, we engage ourselves not into child labor or so. This is a corporate strategy. And then you have different strategies or different missions uh, for, the, for the business units. So the water uh, business unit, for example, has a different one than this one of... Uh, uh, of, uh, of confectionery products or chocolate. Yeah? Then you have to, because you can't put it uh, in, in, in one vision. So a corporate, again, a corporate strategy is, uh, uh, again, for example, we want to be a global company. A global. Unilever said, yes, we want to be a global company, but only with standardized products. They said, yeah, our Lipton is all the same, yeah? or our, our, uh, some, some, some other products, totally the same. So Nestle says, no, we have a different, uh, different approach or in, in our vision and mission, yeah, but uh, these are valid for the whole company and then you have the only business centers. You must uh, differentiate this then. No? Good question. Again, yeah. I think this is at least the third good question yeah, I mentioned yeah? from you. So who else? Manhattan. No, no Manhattan. Oh, please. Okay. 
So a bit more practical question for you. And, uh, oh, this was me. a very practical question. Yeah, uh, but it's still, it's even more practical. As I'm launching the project for sale on Amazon, on European market, uh, if you know the product, product Biohumus, it's kind of fertilizer made by the worms. Okay. In simple essence. Uh, what would you put as a logo or maybe some image uh, to represent that it's made uh, by on Ukrainian soil, by Ukrainian people, and it's purely, purely organic to attract European customers? It depends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good question because this is a very difficult question to answer. That means uh, you have to, to, to test it. So what, what stands for the Ukraine? Uh, is the Ukraine standing, for example, for, for naturalness, yeah, or for clean environment, yeah, or for cleanliness, uh, or so on? Uh, there is one country, uh, I'll come back, uh, there's one country in, in, in the former Yugoslavia, this is Montenegro. So Montenegro is on the, on the, uh, on the, in the philosophy or in the mission, no, in the vision of Montenegro, is environmental, environmental cleanliness. So, and this is one of the most polluted uh, country in, 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 so this is totally different. So, uh, in the Ukraine, uh, this is really difficult to answer. So if you just go for, let me say, for the soil, yeah, and for the, for, for the, for the healthy people and for healthy production, yeah, and for clean production and for environmental friendly, in Germany, it would work, yeah, because especially in the use, yeah, the environmental issues are very high, very high. And the more a company uh, sticks to the, to the environment, to a green and clean environment, uh, the advertising goes to that. Uh, um, for example, you, could, you couldn't do this in Pakistan, for example, yeah, because everything is polluted and dirty and all this. So the next question is, do you go more into the history and you show, let me say, some some people who are working uh, on this. Again, would be possible. Maybe today, today in, 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 in a German environment, I would say with the, with the cleanliness uh, and with the environmental uh, awareness of the people, it would work. This, this is very difficult because here you have seen things, they had nothing to do with the, with the car or with the, with the cigarette and so on. Yeah, that it, that then you have to find out where is the resonance yeah, and the reflection or the, the response uh, from, the, from the, the people uh, or from the, from the population uh, the best. McDonald's had some problems because everybody in the meantime knows this is just polluting the environment yeah, with, uh, with, with packages yeah, uh, one day. Yeah, we have this so-called coffee to go. Coffee to go, this is you buy a cup of coffee and then you throw it away. Yeah. So in Germany this works, it doesn't work any longer. Yeah. Here I see this very much. Yeah. Yeah, you go with a cup of coffee yeah, and then you, you put it into some, some dustbin. Yeah, and again in Pakistan nobody has any information, uh, uh, environmental awareness. In Germany and some other countries, in Switzerland, in the Scandinavian countries, very important. Very important. And, and here, here, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Any question? Uh, what you can say about you know, you know Greta, Greta, ecological problem, Greta, как ее surname? Greta, которая выступает за экологические проблемы. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about, about Greta Thunberg? No. Greta Thunberg? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah Greta Thunberg. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, say it Every Friday. Uh, um, Yes, they they yes. are going on March, yeah? so she's even in like Karachi, she, they she, do. She's like a she's young uh, girl, yes. yeah, and yeah. she's uh, like it, uh, people, yeah. people brown, yeah. yeah, yeah. How she's deep? <laughs> How this she's deep? Because the, yeah, this, because she started. When was it? Three years ago or two years ago? This is not very long ago. Yeah, as a as a as a as a schoolgirl, yeah, at the age of fifteen years, yeah. in front of the Swedish Parliament, yeah, with a with just with a with a small uh, uh, small sheet of paper and and uh, just going for 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 uh, more environmental awareness. So in the meantime, I think she is really a brand. She is a brand for 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 for. Please keep uh, keep our our. Uh, yes, the ecological uh, aspects uh, in your in your company philosophy. That means companies like, for example, like Nestle or Coca-Cola, they are very much under pressure, 
very much. So, for example, producing water. What does it mean? Produce. What is water? Water is a it is a, is a good for everybody available. So at Nestle, they go to some or India. In India, it is very much uh, under pressure because India is not very rich in, in natural waters. Yeah, and they have a plant somewhere in Rajasthan. Yeah, so this is where just uh, the desert is around them. And then they are pumping water, 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 yeah, and, and, and putting in into Coca-Cola. So at the poor population, they, have, they, they, they even don't have water. So, and Greta Thunberg, I think, she has mobilized uh, much, much more, not only between, uh, let me say, your generation. Yeah, this is a great job. I, I do not know if she personally is, is uh, really good advised to do all this. Yeah, but she has a lot of intention uh, and, and, and attention for, for everything what she is doing. So she stands up in front of the, of the, of the United Nations uh, and so on. Yeah, and always with the same, she's just preaching the same, the same uh, message. Yeah, do more, please do more. For environment, yeah, and for for keeping our planet, yeah, in a in a condition uh, where we just have it. Oh, this is this is an excellent example. It's how a little girl, yeah, can do really mobilize more or less the whole world. Yeah. Did you have here in Kiev, uh, for example, under students uh, uh, on on Friday uh, March for 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 the climate? No. No. We have not on Friday. On Saturday we have. You had it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, stu the students or the, the, the pupils they didn't go to school. Yeah, they just uh, they just uh, went out on the street yeah, and said, please uh, do more for, for the climate. In Berlin, yeah, or in, 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 in Stockholm, yeah, or in Boston, or in I don't know. Yeah. This is this. Uh, I think she is uh, like an icon. Yeah, she is an icon. Yeah, yeah for yeah, for I, environment. I understand you, um, uh, sir. But uh, I want to say to you that uh, uh, if you know uh, about Boyanslav, you know about Boyanslav. It's scientist. Uh, it's young uh, man. He's he's really cool man because uh, he's. What is a cool man? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It depends. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, it depends on the age, yeah, it depends on the education, it depends on your, how you are, yeah, yeah, it depends. Because, because he's, he's real scientist, he's not, uh, um, maybe, he's not good communicator, yeah. he's a good communicator, yeah? Oh, yes, yeah. oh, yes, Very yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's don't make show, Greta could make show, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But he's really doing something mm. for ecology. Yeah, yeah. In the Scandinavian... But he is heaven brown. Oh, yes, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in the Scandinavian countries, you have a totally different... The population has a different mindset. Yeah, because if you go to Norway or to Sweden, Finland or Denmark, in all these countries, yeah, the, 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 the attention to environmental issues is extremely high. So, again, they are... They are oh, they are in many many aspects. They are much much more, I would say, liberal or modern. Uh, for example, like like uh, we Germans are. This has nothing to do with uh, with an environment now. But I can give you a, a personal example. When I was uh, when I was relocated from Hamburg to Stockholm yeah, many many years ago as a as a marketing and sales director for Unilever uh, Sweden uh, in in Stockholm. So I. This is a this is a member of the board. This is quite a position. Uh, so and this was a beautiful office building overlooking the Baltic Sea. Everything was fantastic. So and I had a secretary. Oh no, I had two secretaries. Yeah, blonde hair, beautiful looking, and blue eyes, and everything was good. Uh, so uh, again, I was the marketing director, marketing sales director, and I think it was the second day when I went to one of the secretaries and and I asked her. Uh, uh, Agneta, I would like to have a cup of coffee. And this Agneta, she didn't even say sir to me. She said, oh, Hartmut, you just go down the floor, yeah, then you turn left, and on the opposite to the man's toilet, there's a coffee machine. Oh, I said, thank you very much. <laughs> In Germany, impossible. <laughs> yeah, everybody said, yes, Hartmut, yeah, yes, or maybe something like that, or Mr. Wendert. 
Yeah. So she said, okay, this is not my job. Yeah. I'm, I'm the secretary. If you want to have coffee, please help yourself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is emancipation. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think we have learned quite a lot of this. This is, I think, different here again. In Pakistan, everything would say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, uh, you are absolutely right. The ecological or the environmental awareness in, in the Scandinavian countries is extremely high. Yeah. Canada, by the way, again, a country like it is. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.